I didn't tell anyone about this, so I don't think anyone's gonna come. There she is. There's Steph. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta turn on the air. to come back to you too. <laughs> alone and going live um so i'm gonna do it on youtube so that i don't have to talk about this again because this is the most dramatic um bird death i've <laughs> then i need to zip block her before she starts smelling <laughs> <laughs> no, Barry's freaking out. <laughs> like, where is she? <laughs> oh, he's not able to come home. It's no wonder he couldn't leave set at all, or else the entire production would have to be it shut down. <laughs> and so I called Angela, my sister, and she dropped everything she was doing. She came and got me. She cried with me. She helped me. She paid for it. She was exactly what I needed. If I couldn't have Danny there, I'm so grateful. She filmed everything for me. I don't know what I'll show you guys. I'm not sure yet, but she filmed like um, the decision process and like, do I want to put her down? You don't, you don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so there, okay, hold on. God, this hurts.
Sorry, give me one second. should do this on camera or not. Um. I need to transfer her. I need to find like a little box that's gonna fit in the zip box. Because we won't be able to open it back up because it'll start smelling in like a day or two. So you need to give me one second, hold on. <laughs> what happened when I can breathe. Okay, let's get it. Okay, should I show this or not? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't look at it yet, but I have to. <laughs> smaller one and then hopefully fit her in the box and then put these so that we can so she can be in the box so we can close it later before we bury is what I'm thinking so I need to do that or else she's gonna she's already starting to smell oh my god
I'm gonna show her face. I don't want you to see what her body looks like. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this live because it's so painful for me when the bird dies because they're like my babies. I can't have my own babies. <laughs> they're like my babies. I usually, I would just be with Danny right now and we would bag her together and make her coffin together. He can't be here. And my sister offered to come by. I didn't. If, if Danny's not here, I just would rather be alone and go live. So thank you for being here for me. Okay, it's triple bag now. So I think I'm gonna put her in the freezer. <laughs> Sorry, this just happened like an hour ago, so I'm gonna be a mess for a minute. <laughs> but I feel like I should be live. <sighs> and I wanna document what happened because I wanna tell the story of what happened because I'm gonna need it to look back on so I don't hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, give me one more minute, guys.
really sorry. I just have to clean up. I just have to, hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, my battery is dying. I think that's why it paused. So I'm gonna go grab my charger. I'll be right back. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me, um, that's the 
good thing about YouTube, you can save the comments. If you want me to see a problem, just type it again, please. document this for a specific personal reason I'll tell you at the end but basically so that I can remember how I felt when I was sure that it was the right thing to do even though it hurts like it never feels like the right thing but like Explain the live. You have to go for it. Um, I think I can do it, but. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to show you with pictures and videos. Not the death yet. I don't know if I'll show that. But I'm going to show you. Um, I documented quite a bit of this, and now I know why I had the feeling to do so. Um, and like, I was gonna, oh fuck, I just said the F word again. I said it in front of my sister, and it was really embarrassing. Um, um, so Lemon has been acting not herself. Oh, Angel's here. I just said the effort again. I'm sorry. Um, my sister is here. Um, yeah. I don't want to say again. I don't think Angela was here earlier, but like, thank you so much because she, um, she dropped everything she was doing. She got to me as fast as she could. She took me to the vet. She stayed with me. She filmed it. She cried with me. She like was with me for like the de decision of and then she freaking paid for the whole appointment <laughs> I'll never hurt, forget her kindness to me <laughs> okay so <laughs> I 
I love that that's like the first picture I pulled up. Okay, um. Oh, my sister is the best. I'm so glad you were there, Angela. She shouldn't have had to go through it alone. And I would have had to do it alone. Danny couldn't come. He's at work up in Salt Lake and literally like they would have to shut down the entire production and it would like put them back another week because tomorrow is wrap for the whole thing. It's the last day. We would have to literally move everything back. I'm not wearing a bra, so just get over it. It's really hot right now. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so lemons started acting pretty um, different. Everyone's thinking that, I don't know if you can see the comments. Um, a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, she started sleeping or cuddling in or just spending a lot of time in her food cup, um, laying in it. And for parakeets, when they're good and happy and healthy, they don't lay down. Like they don't do that. That's not what parakeets do. They stand on a branch or anything like that that they can stand on or the edge of something or whatever. So I figured since they've been like humping like rabbits for the last month, I figured maybe she was pregnant and maybe we should just let her nest because all the Google says like, just let her do her nesting and, and it looked like that's what she was trying to do in the, the bird cup. Um, and as you can see, let me find it. I cried when I show you this again. I cried when I show you. Um, like I don't want to film this video later, so this is all you're gonna get. So, um, So, okay, so, so that's their like food uh, trough thing. Would you just stay? And as you can see, I can. So it's been like this for weeks where Lemon just rests in there and Barry does not leave her side. Like he even goes to the other side and gets food and feeds it to her. Um, usually though she could go to bed at night, she would get up on her perch at night, which was good. So we figured that she was nesting in there. She's so pretty. It's really dark, sorry. We figured she was nesting in there. You're not supposed to touch them when they do that, so we just like let her do it. Um, see how protected Barry is. It's like psychotic, but I can tell what they're both saying. <laughs> Barry's like, I gotta protect her. She's sick. She's carrying my baby. So anyway, so it's been like that for a couple weeks. And then today we noticed um, this really graphic. So um, I'm going to show you the little one minute video that I made so that we could set because I filmed her a lot and I Put it down into one minute video so that we could send it to Danny's friend Spencer who has had like millions of birds and he's breeded parakeets and like he knows what it would look like because we've never had a parakeet. We don't know what it looks like. Um, and he, so I made him this little one minute video so we could just text it to him and he's like, you need to go now. It's an emergency. So here's the video I sent him. There's no sound. This is really graphic guys. It gets really gross. So just be warned. So this is just little clips of what I saw today. Barry's like, get the camera out of her. I'm protecting her. There's blood everywhere. She was trailing blood like all.
I'm not looking either, I'm only watching the comments. I can't look at the video right now. <laughs> so I'm like, Steph's gonna tell me when it's over. <laughs> Okay, so this is her at the vet right before. Okay, so we went to the, so obviously Angela came and got me. She's my lifesaver. We went to an emergency vet place and they gave us some options and basically I had to, Danny couldn't be there, so he was like telling us our options. Um, he said that what she has, and I'll show you what she has, except hers got infected really bad. So she was pregnant, she was trying to lay an egg, and she got something called, um, hold on, uh, crap, what was it called? Prolap, I think. turkey prolapse. So I'll show you a picture of what a, pro a prolapse is. So basically it's, um, okay, hold on. Okay, I can't find one. So never mind. But basically, it's where the sac, I'm pretty sure, help me if I get this wrong. Angela, yes, this was the uterine prolapse. The egg was stuck in the uterus and it all came out together. Okay. So for her, had we like noticed it sooner, they probably would have been able to help her and she could lay the egg and go from there. But, um, I don't know how I didn't notice that. I held her last night, she was fine. Anyway, um, but like it was bleeding and it was, you saw black and infected and disgusting. And by the time we got to the vet, she was bleeding more and it was turning darker and darker and darker. And, and it was like, I kind of had to make a decision and the decisions were in between. The choices were they can do a surgery and they said, it's really risky um, and a bird, you know, could survive, but you know, and then the other option is not doing anything. No, the other option is putting her down. And then the other option is not doing anything and she'll bleed out within 24 hours. Um, I don't know why, I don't know how I missed this. I'm, I'm trying to not blame myself. I really am. I know that this was out of my control. I held her last night. She was, she, she was lethargic, but I, she's been acting like that for like a month now. And I figured it's cause she's pregnant. So I didn't really, um, I didn't, I didn't want to like, you know, so I've been very gentle with her and holding her and I didn't see anything. Like it didn't even look like she was pregnant which is crazy, but I just assumed she was because the way she was acting. Um, and so I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with this decision and I had to hurry because um, the little sack was like turning black and like, He's freaking out. I don't know if you can hear him. 
We need to get him another bird, but I'm not ready yet. I don't want another bird yet. <laughs> So it was like paying hundreds of dollars for surgery that she might not survive. <laughs> or just putting her asleep. Obviously I wasn't gonna just let her bleed out in pain. Um, <laughs> oh God. going live right now was a bad idea. Wow. Okay, so I had Angela and the doctor leave the room and I was just in there with Lemon and called Danny and So I called Danny and we uh, said a prayer together over the phone and literally before he, he even ended the prayer, we both said at the same time, it's time to let her go. Like we both said that out loud without even ending the prayer yet. We both at the exact same time said it's time to let her go. So, um, So I asked them what the options were and they're like, well, you're not, we asked if I was allowed to be with her when she dies. Cause like when my birds die, um, every single one, I've gotten to hold them every time until they die. And that's really important to me. I'm very like, um, I'm very connected to, I'm the same way some of you might know this, like with funerals, like I have to stay near the dead body until they close the casket. Like I have to be as close to it as possible. I know that's really morbid, but for some reason that's what I need to process and to grieve. I don't know what it, what that's about. Um, and they're like, well, what we could do, cause we're not allowed to witness the lethal dose that they give her, but they said that they could give her the first shot in front of me, which will put her to sleep. So it won't kill her, but it will at least put her to sleep. Um, so. But he died when I relapsed. Coco died when I relapsed. <laughs> no, Lemon died when I wanted it. End it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're my little <laughs> angels. They're going to give me a message like, <laughs> keep fighting. <laughs> Like there's some sort of sacrifice is what it feels like. Like I feel so gross. <laughs> So, um, my sister was wonderful, there with me every second, except when I asked her to leave the room, and uh, I came in, I had her go tell him, okay, let's do it, let's put her down, and I mean, I talked about it for, it was probably a good hour, I don't know, trying 
to decide. But it's like the little thing that was hanging was dying. It was turning black, like the skin was turning black. And um, so like we had to hurry because we need to decide, should we risk the surgery or just put her on pain right now? And Angela and the doctor was so sweet. It was like, in my experience, God knows best. So if you and Danny both felt that this was right, then do it. But I started getting confused because of my head and my head was like, no, should I fight? Should I risk it? If she's gonna die in surgery anyway, what's the difference? The difference is that I knew, like right when he said that, I knew she wouldn't survive surgery. Right, right when he brought surgery up, I knew in my heart she would not survive this. She's sick, she's older, she's, um, I don't know, just my, in my mama bird instinct was like, she's not gonna survive surgery. So we gotta figure something else out. And so then um, praying for it, praying, praying about it, you know, got our answer, but it was really hard to do. And I kept looking at Angela and being like, "Is am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? <laughs> and she and the doctor were both like, father told you to do is the right thing. So he came in, put the needle, and gave her the drugs, gave her, gave her a shot, and then left the room. And he said it would take like five or ten minutes to take effect. No, she was out in like 30 seconds. Um, so I got to hold her in my hands till she fell asleep, and I got to sing to her one more time, which was really hard to do. And so Angela was crying with me. It was so sweet. I can't believe how much pain, like this little tiny little bird. I can't believe how much I have, how much love I have. I'm such a tiny little creature. I cannot believe it. Like how is that even possible? It feels like, it feels like my heart's gonna explode. So when she was asleep, he took her back and they gave her the lethal stuff and then probably 10 or 20 minutes later, they brought her back in a box and we went home and Angela paid for the whole thing because she's such a brat. <laughs> it was so sweet of her. Everything was so sweet of her. I didn't want to put us over to pay for it. So thanks, yeah. But I didn't want to say that. I was like, no, it's not worth that. Anyway, um, I mean, Angela even offered to pay for the surgery, which was so freaking sweet, but I just knew it was just one of those things. So anyway, oh, before we left, this is what I wanted to document. Oh my gosh, how did I almost forget this? So after she died and um, he took her back, I went to the bathroom to wash my hands and I just closed the bathroom door and just like, sobbed and I started yelling at God in my head. <laughs> I was like, I need you to give me a sign. I need you to give me something. I'm not good at listening to God. I'm not good at connecting with the spirit. It's really hard for me to do that. Even though in my gut, I knew I was doing the right thing, but I needed like a clear sign. I needed him to just like do something physically to me that would make me know that it was the right decision because I felt so bad. And all of a sudden it just felt like like the warmest like honey was poured on top of me and covered my whole body and I felt calm and warm and just like I could breathe just for like five seconds. It went right away, but just for those five seconds, um, that was enough that I was like, thank you. <laughs> it 
So Angela wants me to remember this. That's one of the reasons I'm saying it on here so I can save it. She wants me to remember this feeling because obviously I'm gonna beat myself up. I already am. I'm trying not to, I'm really trying. Because there is that question and Ange kept worrying me and so the doctor and everybody like, we don't want you to have any regrets. We don't want you to be like, well, what if I had given her the surgery? What if we had gotten her the surgery and she could have lived through it? So it was like, I literally had to follow my gut and what the spirit was telling me to get through this. <laughs> the last thing she heard was your voice singing to her like she usually does when she goes to sleep. <laughs> she would have thought she was fully asleep. And that's what I told her. It's like, you can go night night. And, and I, she closed her eyes and I started singing to her and kept telling her, like, go play with Buddy and go play with Bungie and go play with Coco. And it's okay, just go to sleep. Just go to sleep, no big deal. Because there were so many times where I was sobbing when this started today until now. And she would keep like worrying about me because <laughs> that's what she does. So she would keep coming to the cage and be like, are you okay, mom? What's going on? Like, mom, what do you need? Because she's just such a strong ass little bird that's... Um, and Danny made a good point. I didn't tell the doctor this, I probably should have. I don't know why I forgot to say this. Lemon almost died, um, I think, was it last year? And with parakeets, you don't know that they're gonna die until the day of, to like hours before. They don't show you that they're sick. They don't, they might act lethargic. They might act as, but like, they don't really show you death signals until right when it happens. Like they might look sick and then you take them out and hold them and then they start seizing and having a heart attack and like doing this. And it's really actually really traumatic. Um, but lemon, and, and also when they get sick like that, 99% of birds die when they get sick. Um, parakeets are, uh, they're not, what's the word? Is it, they're not, they're like bred by humans, I think. Like they wouldn't survive in the wild. What is it called? Anyway, so they're, they're weak and they don't have a lot of strength in them and they just feel the need to hide it from you until it's too late. So that's what happened with Lemon. And I've dealt with this a lot. I know what it looks like. So she started dying and I called for prayers and somehow she survived that. So if you think about that, that also affected her now from here on out because she always was getting um, like diarrhea here and there and like infections on her, on her beak and um, like she just ever since then has been very had really hard like painful side effects of things that are probably symptoms of something but I didn't know what and she wasn't you know but she survived that but I don't think she could have survived this because of that that she was already so weak And the doctor was so nice. And I don't know if you're still here, but she, I'm sure she would agree. He was so nice. He was like rubbing my back. And he was like, it's okay. You go with what you need. Do whatever you need to do. He was so, so sweet. He was so sweet. So I'm not going to tell the story again. So if you're just joining, you can go back and watch. I'm not going to tell it again. Um, probably ever. This was the most traumatic thing. So on the way home with Angela, I was like, so, because it, there's an egg in her, there was a baby. This is the first time I've lost a mama bird and a baby together. That's kind of like, 
crazy to think about. But it's like now we know that that mom, that little baby is with her. I've never had to make like a decision for somebody's life before and I know it's just a little bird, but like these animals, these little birds are my babies. I can't have my own babies and these little ones are just full of so much love and so much spirit. It's unreal how much I love my birds. Um, they're just the sweetest little souls and they're brats and I love it and they're hilarious and they're horny. And by the way, I'm never going to get a girl bird again. I, I don't want to go through this again. I Like I can't do it. I cannot do it. This is one of the worst days of my life. This is so hard. This is different than all the other ones because, because I had to decide. And because I knew that it wasn't right to keep her in pain and I knew that she would not recover from that surgery. I know she wouldn't have even survived the surgery. And he's like, there's not a good chance she'll survive, but it's worth a try. Like if I'd seen it, I'm not trying to like, you don't need to tell me to not blame myself. I know I'm just talking through my feelings because this literally just happened. I just wonder if I had noticed earlier and I could have built her a better nest and she could have delivered it instead of it getting all infected. Oh, sorry. It makes me sick to think about. Um, couldn't be there, so I had Angela film everything. And I went back to watch some of it, and I couldn't watch more than 10 seconds. Not yet. Um, but it, the 10 seconds I did see, you could hear Angela, like, sobbing. Because I wasn't really paying attention to her, I was, like, paying attention to Lemon, but you could hear Angela just sobbing. And I did look over a couple times, just tears streaming she was so supportive and so sweet I'm really lucky to have a sister like that oh no Darcy one of my rats is in the hospital right now and another one was in the hospital for the past two weeks it's so 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 hard I love you lots I love you too I hope they can get better yeah but with with parakeets it's a uh, they're just not strong animals it's just how they are sadly and because I can hear Barry and I went up there <sighs> and I did the same thing that I did when Buddy died. I'm going to tell that story. For those that don't know it, I'm going to cry for sure, so be warned. Okay, so I've been on YouTube in two months. I don't even give a shit how I look so much pain I'm in being sorry um um okay so we moved in here about four years ago <clears throat> excuse me and when we did I had been like I think three months sober for my eating disorder at the time when we moved in and then three days after we moved in I relapsed and while I was relapsing while I was binging 
and purging, sadly. My little buddy died. Buddy is my all-time favorite bird, although Lemon might be now, just because of that, what we just had to go through together. Um, anyway, it was really hard. Felt like it was my fault, but I remember um, after she died, you know, we wrapped her up and, and we went and put her on top of the cage where Lemon was in there, in the cage. And at the time, Lemon despised me, would never let me hold her, never, like, she would get skittish if I came even, you know, a foot away from her, she would skittish away, like, she hated me. And I didn't have her very long yet, and I didn't really know her very well, and I was so close with Buddy, so it was really hard for me. And I remember, um, I'll feel bad about this forever, but it's like, it's, it is what it is. Um, I just remember putting her little box on top of the cage that Lemon was in and sitting down in front of the cage. And I remember um, feeling angry. <laughs> feeling angry at Lemon because I was like, <laughs> I didn't have to be buddy. I was so mad. It was so horrible. And then I should have prefaced this. My bud buddy, my favorite bird all time, um, was like my best friend. He would hang out. He, she was still not sure if he was a boy or a girl would hang out on my shoulder all the time, no problem, do dishes with me, follow me everywhere, wasn't skittish at all, give me kisses, give me cuddles, play, like he was such a sweetie. Um, and the way that I talk to my birds, I'm sure a lot of bird parents do, I don't know, um, is through our eyes. And so um, like what I do with them every single night when I put them in the bed, I've seen them Edelweiss and then I go up and I um, do some blinking with them and they follow the pattern. So I'll be like, and then they'll be like, and then I'll be like, and then they'll be like, and then I'll be like, and keep them close. And for like 10 seconds and I open my eyes and their eyes are closed. So like, that's how we communicate is through our eyes. So with Buddy, I taught him, her to say, I love you by blinking three times. So, I, so, Anytime I was crying, anytime anything would happen, he would go to the front of the cage and look at me and just be like, you know, just the sweetest little thing. Um, so when he died, and I went to put it on top of Lemon's cage, and I'm looking at Lemon, thinking, like, I know it's horrible, but it's just the truth. I was thinking, why wasn't it you? <laughs> why did it have to be? <sighs> and I calmed down. Oh my gosh, I'm like out of tears. I calmed down and um, I just like sat there just staring at Lemon. Once I calmed down, I looked at Lemon. She came to the front of the cage, which again, she was very skittish and very much hated me, refused to connect with me at all. But she came to the front of the cage, so she's probably like a couple feet away from me. And she just looks at me and she looks up at the box and looks at me again and looks at the box and then she looks at me again and she goes <laughs> and 
Friday teacher that. <laughs> like, I know that's what Buddy was telling her to do. <laughs> to comfort me. So Lemon and I, from that day forward, were so close. <laughs> so today, when I asked them to leave the room, <laughs> So I could say goodbye to her in private. <laughs> I just, I was sobbing just like this and she just looked right at me and very weakly, but also very strongly was like, and I was like, you need to go. She's like, <laughs> so I just I just took the box up right when I go home I took the box up and put it on Barry's cage <laughs> said and he was like um screaming because he's been protecting her for the last month like watching over her 24 7 feeding her taking care of her and so i went up there and he was screaming like he knew something was wrong and i kept saying i'm so sorry i'm so sorry she's gone i'm so sorry and i put the box on the cage and he did the thing where he looked up and he stopped screaming and looked up and he's like just blinked at me three times. And I went to I can't believe how much this hurts. Oh my gosh. <coughs> They're so special. They're such a sweet little spirit. So that's how my bird died. You're so for those of you that weren't here earlier, we triple bagged her in Ziploc. She's in the freezer now. She's in a pretty little box that I'm going to decorate later. And we're going to go down to my mom's and bury her next to Coco <coughs> and Buddy. This is how you know Buddy was my favorite bird when my mom moved, which was where Buddy was buried. We dug her up to rebury her at my mom's house. And then Coco died last year. Was it last year? I don't know when it was. I think it was a year ago. And then now this. So there's a little rock area garden that my mom has where we buried the other two. We didn't bury Bungie. Bungie was way too gone by then, and I couldn't even, I didn't even know where I buried him. You guys don't even know Bungie. I never filmed him, so I didn't remember exactly where he was, and, but Buddy, I did, and so, as insane as that sounds, I absolutely dug up my dead bird so that he could still be in a place that
he's gonna. He already knows he's not dumb. I think if I will get up another bird when I'm ready, I'm not ready though. But I will because um, parakeets really like to have a partner. They don't like to be alone. And I learned that at first really. Buddy was my very first bird and he, she was so much happier when we brought Bungie in. So ever since then, I've always tried to have at least two birds at once. It was really sweet today, and Buddy's been, or Barry's been doing this on and off, but he kept on, um, like, wouldn't leave her side except to go get her food. So he would leave, hop up in the cup, get some seed, put it in his mouth, and bring it back and feed it to her because she couldn't even move. And it was so sad. And blood is everywhere. I'm going to have to have Danny help me clean it. I can't even look at it. I that there is in there. There's just trails of blood everywhere. Um, and then at the, the vet, um, I took her out to hold her to say goodbye and she flew and she had this leaking sack that was just dripping blood. And so the blood got around the office, like on the wall and dripped everywhere. It was really gross. And, but again, Angela was there and she's like, I got it. Don't worry. And she like cleaned it right up and it was so sad. No, I only have one bird now. But it won't be that way for long. Just when I'm ready, I'll go get him a friend because he needs a friend, especially right now. He's crying. Can you hear him at all? You, you guys probably don't know what that sounds like, but he's crying. Like, I don't even want to go back up there. He's crying. It's okay, baby. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> Just seeing her face and be like... <laughs> you knew she was okay, but she was so quiet about it. filmed the whole thing for me. This is before. This was when I decided to do it. But before they gave me the shot. Back and forth is excruciating this decision. Looking at Angela like, is this first or the right thing? Sorry, your cousin did to me. It was So they gave her the shot and then luckily you can't see the disgusting stuff from this angle, thank goodness. So I'm going to show you when she went to sleep, so if you don't want to see that. And so he came in, uh, she gave her a 
was trying to hold. Oh. I'm gonna throw it to the head. I'm falling asleep, so I want to take her out so she would fall off the Sorry, you're Too late. No, she can go be with that little baby. It's real. <laughs> she gave you a gift to look forward to. Party. 
Did you hear him? That's his cry scream. That's his cry I can't watch anymore, I'm sorry. It's not very much longer, I just keep sobbing and then I guess you can see when I kiss her goodbye. Where is that? There's a boy. He's crying. Let me see if I can get him. What did you just delete? Is someone seriously gonna be an asshole right? I'm not in the mood for that.
See yourself? Is that another birdie? Who is it? <laughs> Who is it? You can be my best bud now. You can be nice to me now. You're always nice. He's just shy, but he's always nice. Yeah. He's a little runt bird. He's so small. Yeah. He's so pretty. Yeah, they love mirrors, anything that they can, like, he'll just stare at himself for the rest of the live stream, I'm sure. Yeah, you got a friend? Who's that? Who's that? It's another friend that looks like you. Queen Daddy can't have sex anymore. You know, you're going through a stage of horniness, like, this every day, all day. Well, it worked. She got pregnant. But you know what? She's okay now. You don't need to worry. It's okay. You don't need to worry. She's okay. Hey. She's okay. Yeah, he's being a little quiet. She's okay. See her again. Okay. She's okay. Baby's okay too. Okay? It's gonna be okay. It's so sweet. He's terrified of this. He's not himself right now. It's okay. It's okay. See how he's like wide, like super wide eyed. Like he's really paranoid right now. Something's wrong. It's okay. I've eaten today. Say hello. Say hello. I need to cancel the Jeremy. There's no way I can kill him. Say hello. Wanna go back on my shoulder? What do you think? Wanna go over here? Yeah. No? I think he's really confused because it's not like a mirror. Exactly. It kind of is. What is it? most of it off but he had like blood on his beak because he kept um that's what they do they have a sore or something like they lick each other and they try and calm it that way so he had blood all over his beak I got most of it off looks like I got all of it off actually yeah you did so good she said she said to say thank you so much for watching her okay you watch over her so good yeah. You're a good boy, huh? Yeah. Oh, he knows he's he wouldn't be safe like he's so Yeah. Do you wanna see that? Do you wanna see me in the box? Do you wanna do that? 
You can't see him? Could be because you're trying to type and maybe it's covering it. Gave me money, dumbass. Who gave me money? Thank you, Maddie. You're a dumbass, though. But thank you. I call everyone that gives me money a dumbass because you're a dumbass, but thank you. I really appreciate that. That's really sweet. Did she ask a question or anything? Read your comments in a second. He's trying to talk. He'll go. Julia, stop giving me money, dumbasses. What is happening? Thank you. You guys are really sweet. You know, he's gorgeous. He has like purple in his face. You see that? He's so pretty. Isn't he so pretty? Yeah. See? She's so pretty. Can you see her again later? Maybe? You won't remember after tomorrow. We both feel all better, hopefully. He's distracted by the screen. You know, though. Oh, 
I'm very, oh, I'm totally joking. Did you think I was serious? I just tease people. If they give me money, I call you a dumbass. It's kind of a thing. It's supposed to be funny. I'm very grateful. I'm not mad at all. Can you say hi? Look how pretty you are. Can you see yourself? Yeah? I think he knows I need him too. Uh, okay, where is... Hopefully this can help. Thank you, Maddie. You're so sweet. I really appreciate that. I'm totally joking. Come around more often or go watch my other lives. Every time someone gives me money, I call them a dumbass. Because I'm like, why would you give me money? Spend it on yourself. But I'm very appreciative. And thank you, Julia, also. My goodness. You guys are so sweet. Daphne's texting me. I'm at work. His body looks like sky and clouds. Buddy, my favorite bird, my very first bird, looked a lot like this. But he had more like clouds. But she's, he is brighter blue than Buddy was. But Buddy had a lot more clouds on there and kind of like a, it wasn't this super bright aqua color like, like this dude is. He's so pretty. He's so pretty. You're the king of the castle now. What is he doing? This is so not him. Julia, stop. Are you, are you just trying to get me to call you a dumbass again? Because, like, you are. But I'm really grateful. Thank you. You guys are the best. I don't know what to do now. Now I don't want to leave him alone because now I think he's like getting it and he's like, oh, I can feel it. I can see lemon. Can you say bye bye to lemon? You put her in the, yeah. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Keeps looking at. What do you keep looking at? Hmm? What do you look at, Cooper? You see lemon? to share me anymore. We can become best friends. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Well, sat here and cried long enough, I think. Um, I'm going to go try and get a hold of Danny and go be with my babies.
thanks for being there for me and letting me cry like that. I just, I can't believe how that it hurts. Like, what? This tiny little thing just has so much heart and spirit and just a little itty bitty little angel. Who gave me money? Whoever gave me money. That is so sweet of you guys. You guys are stupid, but thank you. I'm kidding. Anyway, I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Oh, hello. This is YouTube, not Instagram. By the way, maybe I'll show you right now. Or maybe I'll just make the other video. I don't know. Well, now it's... Okay. I was going to make a video titled, um where I've been and my future on YouTube. And so, I think um, I'll still make that video when I'm a little more clear headed, but as far as YouTube goes, um, okay. I was breathing weird, that was weird. Um, as far as YouTube goes, um, uh, think again. Um, um, I'm coming back soon, so you'll hear all about it in the video, but thanks for being patient these last couple months, letting me take a break from YouTube. Thanks to everyone on Instagram that could be there. I know a lot of you can't be there on Instagram, and I've been seeing a lot of comments like, hey, I don't have Instagram. I don't know if you're alive. I don't know all the love. Um, which is why I was going to make that video tonight. Actually, I was going to make it after filming the podcast tonight, which I don't know if I'll be able to do that either. We'll see. But anyway, um, but I'm coming back is the gist of it. And I'll explain more and how, what that's going to look like. And there are a couple little changes. So stick with me and thank you for being, um, patient and thanks for letting me cry in the most painful Painful days of my life. Can you say bye bye? So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys later. And remember, forever and always, you're beautiful. I want that. And I want you. Oh, wait. And I want you. Okay. I feel numb right now. What is happening? Is this normal? I don't feel like crying at all now. This is really weird. They say in grief, you're just supposed to feel what you feel. So right now I feel numb. Like I just want to, I don't know, do nothing. Okay, anyway. I love you guys.